Welcome to Let's Play JoJo's Bizarre Adventure Phantom, Phantom Blood. Blood. I am Nakata Lili, joined no once Kiyo again Ra by Boken. Elemental Phantom Ogre. Blatto. Though I should honestly say, may want to hit the start button here. <laughs> you honestly want to say that? Well, I should probably say I am joining Elemental Ogre and not the other way around, because he's actually playing through this game and not me. So let's start a new game. This is JoJo's Bizarre Adventure, though. This is a game based on series one of the seven-part series. <gasps> Play gasp. This does not bode well for her. Yes. The game's entirely in Japanese. It was never released in America. So we're essentially going to be translating for you on the fly. And that's mostly going to be going by memory, because we don't actually know Japanese. And we got a manga over here, which is kind of translated. Yeah, this is really, really loyal to the manga, so we're going to be referencing the manga. And one up the throat. <laughs> Yeah. What this is here is in ancient Az was it Aztec or Maya? It's Aztec. It actually says in here later Aztec. Uh, right. In the ancient Aztec civilization, there was a stone mask they came upon that when blood is splattered on the mask, the little Actually it wasn't they didn't come across this, this is a cult based around the mask. Okay. And the only the strong got to use the mask. And you'll hear the mask called an Ishikamen. That's basically stone mask. Yeah. It's the stone mask, though. The whole thing is when blood is splattered on it, those little spike things come out, jam into the person's head, and essentially turn them into a vampire. What it, actually, what it does is, I think the vampire part is just a side effect, but it actually is supposed to... Uh, the thought is that... The thought is that the human mind, the human brain, only uses 10% of itself. The stone mask is supposed to be able to unlock more of that potential. But the side effect is that they become weak to sunlight and can feed on the life energy of other people. Well, I think they're forced to. I don't think anything else really works for them. Yeah, something like that. So, that's kind of what they're talking about here, though, just kind of going into what the stone mask is and does and whatnot. In the basic history behind it, and eventually this cult just disappeared for no reason. And now the stone mask will eventually alter the destiny of two people. Which is basically what that last part said. Yeah. I don't understand. <laughs> the coming of Dio. Dio! The man laying there Dio. is Dario Brando, Dio Brando's father. We'll see Dio here in a second. There's Dio. Acting all smug and cool and everything like he actually is. Holding the book all weird like. Cause he's just cool that way. Up oh, there he is. There we go. There's Dio. Jojo's Bizarre Adventure is like the most awesome thing in the world, Gat Dang it. And we're going to come across as complete and utter nerds at this, but who cares, it's just that awesome. So, Dario here is, um, he's actually really sick. He's actually dying at this part. This is basically him on his deathbed with only a few minutes left. Yeah. Dario is kind of a jerk, too. I'm pretty sure he, like, beat his wife and... Beat his wife, pretty much forced her to run away, or she died, something like that, yeah. I can't remember correctly. He was a professional thief, essentially, if you could call it professional, he probably wasn't really that good at it. But the, uh, story here is... He saved, inadvertently. George Joestar. Yeah, and George, Jonathan Joestar as a baby. Yeah, George and Jonathan Joestar. Though he was actually trying to rob him at the time. <laughs> he actually robbed his wife, uh... To actually rob George's wife of a ring, I believe, before he was found out. Yeah, but they ran across this carriage here while it had fallen off. Um, he was gonna rob all the corpses, take whatever money he could find or anything. And George essentially woke up, thought he was saving him, whatnot. Um, for saving his life, he felt really indebted to Dario and told him he always had one favor. That he could, uh, yeah. He'd just do anything to help him. 
Um, yeah, George being this like nobleman in English Victorian times. Yeah, Vic in Victorian times. So that's what Dario's going through here. Um, oh, the whole thing though is uh, Dario is going to use that favor to send Dio to live with George and Jonathan Joestar. To be, become a gentleman like them, but secretly wanting Dio to become the best so he can become the... Is it the benefactor of the Joestar? Yeah, he wants him to like inherit everything yeah, from the inherit. Joestar family and all of that fun stuff. Um, that's pretty much what this whole cutscene is here, though. We can skip this. Let's start. There we go. There we go. Yeah, it would. That would have been the same thing over and over again. And at the grave site. So Dio looking at his own father's grave once he died. And he just doesn't really care. Yeah, really. You want me to be the best? <laughs> I'm frantically searching to find the spot in the manga. And failing the <laughs> right, There we go. We're getting there. Basically, I think that Kasu was him spitting on yeah, it. Yeah, he did spit on Ooh, his first fight. Drive. And here we cut to somewhere in England where these two kids, I guess you can call them kids, they're supposedly 12 years old, though they're built like tanks. <laughs> God, how could somebody be 12 years old and be able to build like that? That's just scary. Yeah, they're just teasing this girl, holding her doll away from her and whatnot. And going to do naughty stuff to it. Possibly. That's like what, look it up, it just says that in there. Oh yeah, the guy actually says, strip the doll, see whether it looks like a real girl underneath. <laughs> and you doubt me. And then she cries. Oh, her name's Arena. Yeah, Arena, Arena, crybaby Arena. Irina. Stop it! You that is our hero, Jonathan Joestar! As a 12-year-old, which for God's sakes, they're not supposed to be built like that. I will be assuming control of the heroes of this story. Yeah, before every fight they give you a move list of the character. And that's pretty... That isn't every move he's capable of doing, but... It's at, just for now. Yeah, at this point in the game, that's pretty much it. Basically, square is your normal attack, triangle is your dash attack. Square into a triangle is a punch into a strong attach. Blah, blah, blah. There's charges and everything, and yeah. then circle we'll is basically later. a roll. We'll and now it's time to fight. Yeah. Slash lose. Yeah, slash now in, hopefully. Yeah, in the actual story, Jonathan loses this fight, so you're kind of supposed to lose this fight. Horribly. Yeah. Though like, we've done this like 20 times, now it's hard for us to lose. We have to just about stand there to lose anymore. Just leave the room. <laughs> Yeah. You can actually beat them, though, which is probably what we're going to end up doing. Well, they're so stupid, they like stand there and wait for you to, like, almost punch them in the Aaron face. Aaron is hearing us all. Maybe if I punch them, they'll hit me. Well, he was about to. Maybe you should just actually try to beat him up. We only have a couple minutes left in the video. Yeah, you see each of their health gauges up there at the top of the screen? They also appear over their heads when they get hit. Your health bar is in the upper left. The little curve thing. Now when you hit them, the green bar goes down relatively quickly, but the red bar doesn't. If you don't take any damage for a while, the green light bar will actually refill back up to the red bar. So if you can deal a lot of damage quick, you can, well, deal a lot of damage quick. I'm not a continuity breaker. Then hurry up and lose. I'm trying. Come on, punch him. Punch him. He's just standing there. Punch him. A couple of idiots. <laughs> Punching you in the face! Oh, there we go. And like your life almost completely refilled. 
Stop dancing, it actually hurt me. Actually got a three hit combo. Oh! <laughs> I need to stop punching at the wrong time. Damn it! <laughs> Seriously? Nothing? Oh, come on! Yeah, come on, people. Actually, you know what? Can you pause the game? We're out of time. So, next time on Let's Play JoJo's Bizarre Adventure, we will lose this battle and hopefully show you a little more enthusiastic battles. So until then, so long, everyone.